Dwayne Ross from Servants United with daily devotions from Christ in our home. For Sunday, March 3rd, our scripture is from the second chapter of the Gospel of John, verses 13 through 22. This is the third Sunday in Lent. The Passover of the Jews was near and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. In the temple he found people selling cattle, sheep, and doves, and the money changers seated at their table. Making a whip of cords, he drove all of them out of the temple, both the sheep and the cattle. He also poured the coins of, money of the money changers and overturned their tables. He told, he told those selling doves, Take these things out of here. Stop making my father's house a marketplace. His disciples remembered that it was written, Zeal for your house will consume me. The Jews then said to him, What sign can you show us for doing this? Jesus answered them, Destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up. The Jews then said, The temple has been under construction for 46 years and, you will, and will you raise it up in three days? But he was speaking of the temple of his body. After he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this. And they believed the scripture and the word that Jesus had spoken. After he was raised from the dead, his disciples remembered and they believed. Verse 22. Have you ever said, give me time to let that sink in? It's hard to process information that's different from our past experiences, current understandings, or future expectations. It seems the disciples needed time after they experienced Jesus' death and resurrection to understand what he meant about raising a destroyed temple in three days. <clears throat> it's a gift to have time to develop new understanding that alter our viewpoints. In these days of countless divisions, we can offer the gift of listening in time so people can reflect and gain new insights. We can walk with our neighbors as they shift their perceptions, perceptions we, all, we also may have held. We might kindly engage a person by saying we once felt as they do. Then we can share and explain experiences that led to our new changed beliefs. Jesus gave the disciples time to reflect on his teachings. Then they believe. Let's also give each other time to reflect and gain new insights. Our prayer. God of insight, thank you for experiences and time to reflect so that our belief in you grows. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.